So we all know that DC is ramping up their own cinematic shared universe because they saw how incredibly successful Marvel's has been. And they're like, hey, we want a piece of that. Especially since Marvel pretty much stole all of our superheroes to make their superheroes. Not all, but a lot of them. A lot of them. Yeah. So, well, no. so in a recent they interview... They came up a lot around the same time. and They, they did different things. Depends on what you're looking at. Mm-hmm. I mean, Superman so, was kind of like the, the, the founding idea, that in, biggest influence, but then kind of Marvel rebelled against it by making people that were not invincible. Yeah, uh, the but, more but I mean, you, you can look at them, and there's a lot of clone characters: Green Arrow, Hawkeye, yeah, Flash, Quicksilver. I mean, it just happens. So, uh, but um, so in a recent interview, Zack Snyder, who's kind of the guy that's going to be spearheading, I think, the majority of these movies, not all of them. Uh, he does have Batman vs Superman. He is going to get the Justice League movie. I don't know if he's actually doing Wonder Woman, but he was talking about Wonder Woman in a recent interview, saying that she is going to be. And this almost doesn't make sense to me, but Wonder Woman movie is going to be the gateway drug for the Justice League movie. So, I don't know. Maybe that'll be like... going to okay, be Iron Man? Yeah, I, I guess, because that's... Uh, yeah, Iron Man, you know, hooked everybody. Everybody wanted to see more. They built it up. Because Iron Man, they didn't have any phase one phase two phase three plans when iron man one came out they kind of said okay here you go but dc's not doing that they do have their own plans for the way the movies and the stories will progress so i thought it was just kind of pretty interesting and so that got me thinking um you know batman vs superman is coming out next year 2016 there are a lot of rumors that wonder woman will be in featured in some capacity in that movie maybe probably not a lead role because if you know the story of batman versus superman they're pretty much going to be taking off of uh frank miller's dark knight comic where he is major which and and it was awesome it was amazing yeah where batman and superman literally do have a fight but uh they're trying to tie this in a little bit more with man of steel so it almost seems like there's going to be a different thing maybe they'll, they'll switch roles a little bit because if you know in Batman vs. Super, I mean in The Dark Knight, Superman goes after Batman because he becomes a hero again. He dons the cape again after he was not supposed to, and the president kind of sends Superman out after him. Ronald Reagan does, actually, I think it is. And if they don't call him Ronald Reagan, he's Ronald Reagan. But he sends Superman off to get him, and then Batman keep kind of rebels, and then they become friends, and another enemy appears, and they have to fight, help band together to fight him off. So... And that's kind of a, a really brief, really, really vague synopsis of Dark Knight. Yes, it Brendan is vague. Brendan agrees. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it almost seems like if, if they're playing off of the events in Man of Steel and there's repercussions from pretty much the Kryptonians coming to Earth and fighting Superman and them destroying parts of, of the world, <laughs> you know, um, that Batman might be the one sent after Superman. So it's it's kind of interesting the way they're going to kick that off. And I don't see where Wonder Woman fits into that. And then to say that she's going to be the gateway drug, you know, the linchpin of the rest of the shared universe kind of also confuses me. So I took away a couple things. Um, number <laughs> one, if Wonder Woman is going to be the linchpin or the gateway drug for Justice League, that kind of makes me think that whoever the main villain they have planned for the Justice League movie is going to be one of Wonder Woman's rogues gallery. Uh, so it'll probably be one of her main nemesis. That would make sense. But <coughs> you, if you think like with the, the Avengers and, and clearly DC is not necessarily trying to do everything like the Avengers. Um, but in the Avengers, the main villain for the first one was, was Loki, right? Yeah, a good that's, Thor villain, yeah. that's Thor, but Thor was Definitely not even one of the like I would say either Iron Man is the key there or Captain America. Thor one, I'd still say to this day, is my least favorite of all the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Like regardless of that yeah. though, I'm saying like for for what happens for the, one of my the favorite Avengers movies. coming together, the important people there is Captain America and Iron Man, mm-hmm. not Thor. It, it, like Yes, it's Thor's villain. Yes, things happen in the Thor movie that somewhat relate to 
deal with what's going to happen. The Tesseract bit. is kind of yeah, it's, it's one of the power gems. The so that's Tesseract cool. in Captain America. That's the big thing. Uh, that's, that's really true. Captain America is more the leader yeah. to Avengers, and that's it, it was supposed to be in in Odin's hall for a while, but that's neither here nor there. But I, I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah, they kind of took a villain from. Yeah, you'd say the least popular of those main, indiv- uh, you know, solo movie I'm characters. I'm not even just saying that, but he just wasn't necessarily that important for them all coming together because the Avengers already come together before Thor shows up in that movie. Even um, the the mm. focal point. Well, characters. Iron Man and Captain America are together. That's about it, though. Well, I guess Scarlet Shield and they get Hulk, Black Widow, and they so. get yeah. all, all the members of Shield. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess, well, and Loki, they really wanted Loki to bring Thor. So yeah, that, it's an interesting thing. Um, so I, I was thinking of who could be the villain that is one of Wonder Woman's main villains that could, you know, kind of be the reason that they would have to bring such a force together. The only one I could really think of was Ares. Um, God of War, he's kind of, and I could see him doing something big like creating an army of some sort. Oh, you know, God of War creates an army, not too far fetched there. And he's powerful. He's God of War. I mean, that would be a reason that they would have to bring all these people together. Kind of like Loki, you know, you know, God of Mischief or whatever. And he had his own supernatural army. <laughs> so mm-hmm. uh, it kind of sounds like they're going to be mirror- mirroring. Um, that a little bit. Now, if you read some of the comics, I believe the New 52, the reason all of the Justice League get back together or get together in the first place is because I want to say it's Darkseed is invading the world. So mm-hmm. that would be a pretty cool reason, but I just, I, I don't I don't see Darkseed being the main I villain of the first Justice League. Wonder Woman turning out to be a very strong leader role in, in various situations because she has more Kind of natural powers than say Batman, mm-hmm. and Batman's also. Well, more, she's almost uh, as strong as modern. Superman. She's almost as strong. Yeah, that's as what Superman. I'm saying. She's 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 very strong nat- from her powers, unlike Batman, uh, but she doesn't have the same kind of uh, weakness like Superman of the Kryptonite, which is mm-hmm. something that Dark Seed would easily capitalize on it and yeah. deal with, or or a number of other villains like Lex Luthor de- figures it out at various points and whatever so but i could see her kind of being that good ground she's not quite as powerful as superman but she doesn't have his major weaknesses so she can deal with more things she'd be a little less expected um and she's she's still because she's not overly powered she still knows how to deal with uh, real stuff. different situations kind of like a batman not not just invincible yeah and, and it also makes me think like how much the amazonians will play in the overall story arc of justice league because again if she's a linchpin you got to look at her she's a natural leader stuff. she was the leader of the the uh, Amazons. well no her mother was i believe but she was she was a princess then. All right, yeah, kind she was a princess. But you got to think princesses. of how much they might play into it. And again, an enemy coming from her area makes most sense if she is going to be the one that's going to get us hooked. So they can introduce said villain that will rise to the main stage and really, you know, put us over the top. Because I said this a million times. Every time we talk about a movie, I say this. You have to have an amazing villain to have a great story. Because the villain is what pushes it forward. It makes what it's worth. You want... He's... If he's not a good villain, then you don't care if he gets defeated or not. The movie's no good. Darth Vader, Star Wars. I mean, come on. Loki from the first Avengers. That's what made the Avengers one of the you know, one of the best really superhero movies Loki, out there. Yeah. Huh? I didn't care that much about Loki, to be honest. I thought they should have gone with a different villain, but no, I thought fine. it was great. I thought he was amazingly played. Be quiet, Brad. He's just not that interesting of a villain. He's like, okay, it's Loki. He's trying to create mischief and become all powerful. <laughs> no, he's great. But the one thing that kind of makes me nervous when I hear that it's going to be Wonder Woman is the key is that the the actress they have playing Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot, she's um she's never impressed me in any movie. The only movies I know her from are from the Fast and Furious movies from Fast 5 through Fast 7. And well, those are not one. known for acting. But they're, they're known for action. Yeah, but I, I'm gonna want a little bit more than just some some action if I'm gonna be watching. Well, maybe, uh, well hopefully she 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 steps things up and shows us what she can really do. The Fast and you know, the Furious movies, they have some good actors in there, but they don't really. No one necessarily gets to show off their acting talents, particularly because 
some of the main characters aren't particularly great actors, so you don't necessarily yeah. want to outstage the lead guys too much. Yeah. Well, so I just I'm curious going forward to see how this all work out. I do want to see Justice League. Uh, I'm very excited. I will want to see you know Batman vs Superman and Wonder Woman movie. All these movies do excite me. But let us know what you think. Hit us up comments down below. Are you excited? You think this is a good direction, making her the linchpin of the almost the whole franchise that they're making there. Hit us up, let us know, comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook, always good ways of getting a hold of us. 